to start off, I'm going to use my Josie Moran Argan Oil. Um, and I put this after my moisturizer um, and before my primer. And the primer that I'm going to use is the Hourglass Mineral Veil, uh, Veil Primer. Um, I love this primer. It's really, really good and it really does help your makeup stay. I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to use that to prime my eyelids. And I'm going to use the color Odwin or Indwin by the Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. And now I'm using the color Latest. Um, I can't say it correctly so I'm not going to try to correct myself. But um, I'm using this color as a transition color on my crease. And you can see my, my little sister's head back there um, because she was getting ready with me. But I'm using the Copper Sparkle um, MAC Pigment on my eyelid and I just put that on the center. And I'm using Make a Geek um, Eyeshadow in Chickadee. And I'm just blending that on my crease. And now I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows in the colors, in the colors Morocco and Sienna. And I'm blending those with a blending brush by Sedona Lace. And now I'm using more of the copper sparkle and I'm pu um, putting it on my lid with my finger and it just looks way more intense that way. Now I'm going to mix these, these three eyeshadows from, the, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's orange soda, burnt orange, and caramel. And I'm using my same blending brush to blend those together on my crease. And I'm just kind of smoking everything out with these three colors. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I'm using the color Solas with the L Flat Definer brush and I'm smoking out my bottom waterline. And I'm also going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow and Copper Shimmer and just smoking it out a little bit more just to give it a more intense smoked out look on the bottom. Now of course I'm going to use my Vegas Nay Lashes by Allure in Grand Glamour and I love these with this look because it's just, the look is so intense itself so you need some bigger lashes to go with it and I think these are perfect. I'm using the um, glue, um, the duo lash glue in the color um, dark and I'm just putting some mascara. I think this one's by L'Oreal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the one by L'Oreal. And now I'm just putting bottom mascara as well. And I'm combing my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills spoolie that comes with the eyebrow pencil, but it finished. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo powder, eyebrow powder, um, I think in the color medium. And I'm just filling in my brows with this, which I'm not really too fond of this, but I mean, it's what I have to do since I ran out of my pencil. So since I have thick brows, it kind of makes them look a lot thicker with this, but it'll do. And now I'm just cleaning them with a concealer, um, any concealer you have. And I'm using a flat definer brush um, to conceal my eyebrows, especially because the powder can get a little bit intense. And now I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation um, in the color NC25 and um, I'm just dotting that on my face and I'm, I'm doing sections so this, sec this section I'm going to do first and I'm using a Morphe buffing brush, I mean I don't know foundation brush. It doesn't have a number because it came in a pack but these are um, this brush is by Morphe. And I'm doing the other side of my face um, and just blending it out really really good. And now I'm doing my forehead and just blending out all the foundation so that there won't be any streaks or anything like that. And now I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC20. And I'm going to um, place this under my eyes and I'm going to create kind of a triangle. And this is what I'm going to use to highlight. I'm also putting it on my chin on the bridge of my nose and blending it out with the beauty blender and make sure you blend that out really really good um, that way you don't have any harsh lines 
And now I'm just adding some on my forehead, uh, more on the bridge of my nose, my chin, Cupid's bow, more under my eyes, and I'm going to blend, blend that out as well. Now I'm using the Palladio Translucent Rice Powder and I'm using it, this powder to bake. Um, it's going to set my concealer really, really good on all the places that I put it in. So, oh that was my sister, sorry. <laughs> and I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Powder um, with the Big Real Techniques brush and I'm setting the rest of my foundation with this. While I bake, I'm just going to fix my hair really quick because it was getting on my nerves. <laughs> and now I'm just using that same brush to buff out all the, um, the rest of the powder that I had. And I'm using this um, cheapy little eBay liquid to matte lipstick. Um, I think it's number, it's number 18. And these are like $2. And now I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm mixing the colors. Um, Subconscious, Shadow Play, and Sombre together um, to contour my face and my nose and my forehead. And I also love contouring right under my bottom lip. It just makes your lip look kind of bigger. And I'm using the MAC Modern Mandarin Blush and I'm dusting that with a Sonia Kashuk um, brush. I don't, I don't know what it's called though. And I'm just dusting that really softly. You don't want to have too much blush on. Oh my gosh, my favorite, the Jaclyn Hill Highlighter in Champagne Pop. I love this so much. It's not the first time I use it. I just keep it in the box because it's so cute. And I'm using my Fix Plus, um, MAC Fix Plus in the lavender one. It's the limited edition one. And I'm spraying um, that same blending brush that I was using earlier. Obviously, I cleaned it, but um, I'm just putting that center of my nose. Forehead, Cupid's bow, chin, cheeks, and after this, I pretty much bathe in it because <laughs> I just love it everywhere. I put it on my collarbones and my shoulders, and I love the glow it gives. I got this idea from Jacqueline Hill herself, so yeah, I love it. I love the way it looks. And now I'm putting some um, Lime Crime Liquid to Matte Lipstick in the color Salem, and I just wanted to put this... Um, in the corners of my lips and stuff just to give it kind of an ombre effect and I'm kind of blending it with a definer, bl uh, definer brush and it's just because I didn't really like the lipstick that I had on by itself so yeah and now I'm going to spray myself with my fix plus I literally take a shower in this <laughs> so good and this one smells really really good too it's that lavender it's really calming and now I'm going to do my hair. It's going to be a half up, half down little bun. And I love this little trend that's been going on. It's so cute. It's so easy to do. You just look put together in like seconds. And that's the look guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.